so this will be the first time I record a playthrough of this. Um, I've played this so much, but I've never really recorded it because I've always been playing music during the playthroughs of this. But this time, since music on Twitch isn't a thing, hey, I'm going to be recording me playing it. But on top of that, I'm going to be trying mods for the first time, which I've never, ever done. So I got a bit of help from Kat. She suggested a bunch of mods that she's used in her playthroughs. So quite a few of these uh, come from her. So, you know, shout out to Kat if you're watching or see the VOD later. Appreciate the help you gave me on this one. All right. Um, yeah, here's the thing. I always play as myself, so... In the interest of, like, comedy, this is going to be Warrior, and this is going to be Warrior's farm. Eh, because... garlic. <laughs> um, let me get something that looks close to him. Yeah, and then... How does his hair look like? I've never really seen his hair. Um, there's a lot of hair in this. That'll do. Yeah, yellow. It's also going to be, uh, with Expanded. Yes, has to have the mustache. Um... Oh yeah, right, and then the animal preference, I guess we'll go with the cat. Um... I can control all this. What's the color? Warrior's eyes are blue, aren't they? Pretty sure they are. Hold on, let me get a picture of him. They aren't, they're like... They're just beady and dark. I, I thought they were blue, but I guess they're not. He just has... Um... I don't know, it's like he has bruised eyes. <laughs> but, okay, sure. And then, um... Hair is just... You know, whatever. It's desaturate it, that's about it. The pants color, um... Should be purple. There we go. As close to Warrior as I can get. Um, and then... Yes, yeah, so now Grandpa's Farm is one of the mods. I'm pretty sure. Pretty positive. Um, community Center, we want Remixed. We want Guarantee First Year Complete. We want Remixed Mine. Don't care about that. Don't worry about profit margin, then multiplayer. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to turn the music on, but you know, it's cool. And for my very special grandson, Wario, <laughs> I want you to have the sealed envelope. Oh, I should have... Now listen close! <laughs> there will be a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Okay. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. I think that there should have been music playing, but I muted it. It's okay. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Apologies. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later.
I've never worked in an office like this ever. Um, the closest I've come to a graphic design studio that kind of had cubicles like this, but it was more open. And, the, you know, it wasn't bland. There was artwork everywhere. Um, so it felt creative. There certainly wasn't a dead person in the corner here. <laughs> but I've, I've experienced that before. Um, the cubicle, just not the typical one. Dear Wario, if you are reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I've dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Wario's farm. Because I named my farm after my grandchild that hadn't existed yet. <laughs> Alright, listen. Small oversight, but maybe there's... Like, he's Wario the second. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. P.S. Is Lewis still alive? Say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Uh, yeah, so I'm using Expanded, and then there's a bunch of sprite replacements, so the graphics are a little different. So there'll be new content, and, uh... A bunch of other stuff. The farm should be different as well. Okay, good. That blue screen was concerning. But yeah, otherwise, kick back, enjoy. This is one of my top games of all time. And the fact that it was developed primarily by one person for the longest amount of time is crazy. I think since then he's, he's getting help. I might be wrong, but... The bulk of this was 100% done by one person. Which is really impressive. Alright, we got music. Hello, you must be Wario. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you want to follow me. Okay! What your time? This is Wario's farm. Eh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit of a ground, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here you are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So. You're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. I don't know, it has like a modern greenhouse to the side. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Wario. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Um, I think I missed a step there, but it's cool. So, 
I mean, I've played through the game multiple times, but there will be stuff I haven't seen with uh, the mods, so I'm playing the mods blind. And I'm reading, f so then this is a full playthrough. You receive 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Okay. Gotta get into the rhythm of things. First, the weather report. Then... There's no... Oh, wait, but we got we got luck up here. That's one of the mods, which is nice. Cultivate parsnip introductions. Okay. Let's get the ball rolling. But yeah, this color palette looks pretty nice. I already like it. I don't really have a plan in terms of how this farm's going to be laid out, but... Um, we'll see. I don't really know the layout of this, as this is a completely custom map. But I'll play this to the best of my ability. Clear a plot. I need to... I guess I'll, I'll think where I'm going to play stuff. So, I'm going to do my chests here. Probably makes the most sense. Oh, see, that's nice. I got to see that as well. Alright, anyway. Um, I'll just do it directly in front of the house. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we begin the panic of, like, trying to meet everyone in one day. Time management. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, it also tells you how many days are left on them. That's cool. So I just need enough for a chest. Need 30. Okay. This doesn't seem as messy. Hang on, there's one thing I think I need to set. Um, give me a sec. One. Oh, it doesn't let you set. I thought it did let you set mouse. Okay, maybe not. That's fine.
I should have enough energy to make it to one chest. Okay. We got our one chest. So just, just to begin with. So we're not carrying anything unnecessary. Um, which way is it out? <laughs> oh, this way, okay. Oh, okay. So then what's... Oh, it's another exit. Okay. I need to get familiar with what this is. That's interesting. We should be able to meet almost everyone. Okay. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Alright. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. That's rewarding work. Morris? Isn't that the jo Jojamart guy? I, I guess they're interactable, which is interesting. Okay. So we can we can be buddies. Is there a downside to that? Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. My mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Uh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Savage Jody. The low-key backhanded hello. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. And... No one's here. Okay. I'm just gonna try and meet as many people as I can today. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. The sister's not home. There's Granny. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, my dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, oh, hello, who are you? My aunt, you a cutie. Welcome to the valley, dear. It's so exciting when someone moves in. So that's one of the new characters. Hello, you must be warrior. I'm the new far. Wait, sorry. You must be warrior, the new farm. I'm Carolyn. There you go. It's a quiet little town. It's so very exciting when someone new moves in. Have you met the other farmers in our community? Have you met my son Victor? Okay, so the, there's. My husband runs the general store here. Have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Wait, general store? I thought this was the general store. Hey, it's Mr. Warrior, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, the local owner of the local general store. I said local twice. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move there. The spring is lovely. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have started this late at night as reading comprehension goes out the window. Hang on. Okay, V-Sync is off. That's interesting.
Here they are. I just noticed this flickering. I'm not sure if that comes through on the screen side. Uh, aren't you the one that just moved in? I'm Mario. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the dynamic. I'm, I'm excited. All right. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Hmm. All right. He's too busy lifting weights. Halfway there, almost. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot, I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wait, what is this? Blue Moon Vineyard. Okay, let's just go to the beach first before we go to whatever's new. There's a whole new area and over here. Interesting. I already met you, Lois, but I'll talk to you. How was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the old rickety bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. But if but the bed is the bed is replaceable. You can just get a new bed. It's got nothing to do with the house. It's like two independent things. Oh man, I'm not gonna have time. What is this? Blue Moon Vineyard. Oh, eek, a stranger. Wait, aren't you warrior the new farmer? Sorry, I get a little nervous around people I haven't met before. My name is Sophia. I'm the owner of the Blue Moon Vineyard. Vineyard. <laughs> um, well, I'll see you around, I guess. Wait, what? This... What is with the flickering graphics? This house is familiar. Anyway. Okay. So, it's an extra screen that they've added. I mean, that's cool. Um, I, I guess this is all I'll be able to do in terms of meeting people. Clint's will be closed. They'll all be at the bar. Um, okay, you're done. You're talking to Doggo. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy. Cool. Hey there, come to pet Dusty. Well, you can pet Dusty now. Okay. Hello, I'm Penny. Hang on, I just want to watch this for a sec. Yeah, see, it's flickering... It's flickering graphics on the stream as well, so what is causing this? Let's try to turn VSync on, it might be... It might be an issue with the refresh rate of my monitor, because it has changed since last I played this. Um, what is this? That's a new room. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Hey, kid. Name's Pam. 
Well, hello there. I'm Gus, the chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Hey, I already talked to Emily. Well, seems to be doing it all. Yeah. Ugh, this flickering. What is going on? I never had this happen before. I don't want to, like, constantly have to debug this, but I thought VSync might help. Um, there shouldn't be much graphic settings here. Let's just leave it off. So what is this? I see now it's worse. Alright, leave it on. So this is where Olivia lives. Where's the sun that she mentioned? Oh. You? Oh, hey there. You're the new owner of Wario Farm. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wario, is it? Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of concerned about this flickering, but we'll see. We'll live with it for now. So, you can talk to this guy and be friends with him now. Okay. It's Farmer Warrior. Welcome to the Valley. My name's Morris, manager of the Jojo Mart. If you need cheap quality seeds, there's no better place than Jojo Mart. Unless... Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> there's more. Well, this is pretty much all I'm going to be able to manage in the first day. Linus as well. Um. Oh yeah, and it shows who's single. So who's new and single? Sophia. Okay. Don't know who that is. Wait, you can- wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? Since when does the wizard date- no, they've- they've modded it. To make the wizard dateable, okay. What else have they changed? Olivia single, apparently. Okay. Good to know. I'll look at my graphics drivers, um, after the stream. It's doing something funny. Oh look, it's the edgelord. Oh cool, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? The only difference from when I played last and now is that I'm running modded stuff, so I don't know. A oh, stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Maybe if I 
I'm just gonna try different things and until it works. There's something about lighting. That's the one. Medium lighting. When in doubt, lower graphic settings. Oh, sh yeah. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> That's something I didn't consider, having stones in the way. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no, I might not make it home. Okay, it hasn't flickered in a while. I think that may or may not have resolved it, but it's definitely better. So we'll stick with this. I don't think it's a huge deal to have medium lighting. And then I'll, I'll look into it off stream. But as long as it's not doing weird stuff as I play, that's acceptable for now. It, actually, it makes sense now, because the flickering did happen around where the lights were. Oh, hello. Hi, I haven't seen you before. Alright, so this is... Sorry, I don't really know you all that well. Claire edges away from you. Okay, I have a little bit of energy left, so let's just... It wouldn't be me if I tried to get rid of all my energy. And maximum amount of, uh, like, usage of a day. Alright, that'll do. As long as we're in bed before one. Okay, um, yeah, so it's going to show whose birthday it is, which is nice, it's just a nice little reminder. There will be rain tomorrow, cool. No queen of sauce. I just got back from a fishing trip, you should come down to the beach sometime, I got something for you. Okay, um... Oh, it even shows that. That's cool. I'll use that as a gift. I guess I'll... I'll start... Giving out presents. Okay, good. I'm glad the flickers stopped. I was getting a little worried that there might be that big of a technical issue that's gonna bother me, but it's gone now. It was just the lighting settings, so... I'll look into it further. But for now, I can forget about it. Got a Jed. Okay, I gotta bring the pickaxe with me <laughs> in case there's crap in the way. I thought maybe as a bare minimum I could maybe not do it, but I guess I have to. Um, alright. Try and catch more people. Oh, 
for you. Hey there. You're that new owner of Warriors Farm. My manager held a meeting about you. I work part-time at Jojo Mart. Uh, oh, okay, they're expanding that. Uh, forget what I said about that meeting. It could get me in trouble. I got... I got an insider. What? What do you want? Go away. Yeah, so it's his birthday. Wait. Um. Ooh. Where do you... Okay, I see... Sorry, fish spring. I should have had this open. Um, okay. Wait, what? Oh no, but that's, uh, that's exclusive fish. I need the fish list itself. Chub, uh, anytime, and forest river, mountain river. So it's a river thing. Okay. I can do that. I'll oh, talk to him first since he's out here. I'm curious as to why you'd want. Wait, this is new as well. Why you would want to be friends with uh, Morris? Like, what? What do you have to gain from that? Okay, meeting Clint. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town's blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay. Process geodes. Get started on that museum. Okay, cool. It doesn't... It says if it's uh, not donated. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. They've also added glass, which is a nice touch. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. I heard someone say treasure. Alright. Wario loves treasure. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I will. <laughs> this is why I made my character Warrior, because I've played... i played this game too many times, and I've based it off, I guess, me. Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a little different. I wonder if they added new artifacts to fill this in a bit more. Because there was always room for some extra ones. Yeah, my mom just won't let me have any more gummies today. Hey, where are you going? Oh, there's more here. 
Uh, I need to go to Pierre's grocery soon. I don't know why my mother do just doesn't hire a butler already. Hey, are you thinking about a part-time job? Oh, that was rude, wasn't it? Apologies, Warrior. I lost my composure. Oh, so you're a rich dude. Okay. Grampleton Fields. Okay, George loves that stuff. Yeah, I, I think I shouldn't go here just yet. Um, oh man, but see, that's just more, this is more stuff to worry about in a day. Time is already limited. That's the one thing about this game that it's just stressful is trying to do everything at once, but you get into a rhythm. Okay. Um... I'm just gonna talk to him. I guess let's just gift him this. Oh, it's for my birthday? Thanks. Alright, he wasn't happy. Whatever. I tried. I gave you something on your birthday, so you can't say that I didn't try. Excellent. <laughs> Garbage calamari. Hey you, don't be snooping around the trailer when I'm out, got it? What could possibly go wrong from eating calamari out of a trash can? Nothing. Okay, there's Haley. Oh, you're the new farmer boy, aren't you? Ha ha, I'm Haley. Okay. I guess I'll pursue the new- one of the new characters. He's in his room... there's no one here. This is good because... I can go get the fishing rod... and still do chores. It's gonna be raining tomorrow so I get a break and I can go fishing in its entirety. Ahoy there, son! Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Oh, yes! Alright. You received the bamboo pole. There's good water in here, in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Haha. <laughs> That's what me old pappy used to say, anyway. Okay. Let's -a go. Oh, that's... what is this? Uh, Alright, let's not, let's, not, let's not worry too much about it. Um, I need to go give... Give a gift. Here. Assuming she's still around. Okay, she's here. Do you like this? You're yeah, sweet, thanks. Alright, cool. What do you want? Oh, saying hello, um... Hi.
Now I go fish. I'm Say. I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Um, what was my spot usually? It was somewhere here. Now, I'll try not to spend too much fishing, because that's always the running joke in these kind of games, is I fish too much. But I'll do my best not to. Even though it is highly beneficial. But it says forest, river, and mountain lake. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Well, um... That's fine. I got a way- I got an easy way to... Free up some inventory and make this one happy. This is my favorite thing, thank you! Hmm, looks like another gloomy day. Oh, he stopped looking at himself. <sighs> I wish there was more girls in this town, you know what I mean? So I could shove my muscular body that I've been working on non-stop. Just place anything you want to sell in the shipping box next to your house. Don't mind my husband, George. He isn't very friendly to strangers. If you get to know him better, he'll warm up to you. I'm sure you two could become good friends one day. Since you're so interested in my husband, <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret. He really likes leeks. You can find them in the mountains this time of year. Wait, does she say- does she always say that? Huh. Uh, I mean, maybe she does, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely convinced she says that always. Hello, dear. Having a productive day today? Don't overwork and hurt yourself. I wouldn't want you moving away so soon. Oh? I work part-time at Gus's saloon. It pays the bills. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on. Onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Trespassing, huh? Uh, how many people left? Two. Oh yeah, Maru is our overprotective father. Where, where is he? The dude that I, I like to say is technically a dickhead because he's like, uh, uh, well, tomato's technically a fruit. Yeah, but you're technically a wanker to suggest that when someone asks for a fruit. It's like eggplant. Eggplant is also in, the, in that boat, but no one really says that either. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. Okay, who does that leave? Because I don't think it's counting the modded characters. Oh, it's Marnie's. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's the kid. Jasmine. Which, it's 
probably too late to go meet her, but I guess I'll head there tomorrow. Okay, hold on. Time for some classic RNG on my part. Hey, go, go, go to the top. Climb. It's okay, time stops. I don't have to worry, I'm not playing multiplayer. I will get this. It doesn't matter how long this takes. Just bide, bide time. Yeah. Okay. Fish, please. It doesn't want to go any higher. Okay. There it is. Watch it be like a lump of coal or something. Oh, dude, no, no, that's good. That is legit. That's very legit. That is very legit. Um, I mean, mixed seeds are good to have too. I feel like this I can get any time, so let's just do that. Um, I'm gonna consume this. Okay, let's go. That's like a nice and easy way to make money. I like this game, it's just the one thing about it is the music cuts in and out, and you get a lot of atmospheric stuff. <laughs> That's cool. Level up! Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have problems here. I guess I'll, I'll make a tough choice when I have to. Okay, there's the chub. Um, ah, sucks. Get rid of the mixed seed. Okay, there we go. Um, get rid of it. Can't go fishing anymore. Um. You have to keep the fish, so as long... I just gotta return to him. He'll be at the bar, most likely. There is one night where he's not there. But let's just see. Wait, since when do you hang out here? Sometimes I get new items in stock, so make sure you stop by every so often. It's a lot of work to run a shop. Damn it, there's a, there's a daffodil over there. I should... I'll go get it after the bar. Maybe I'll listen to music in Discord. If it overlaps with this, so be it, but, like, there's so much silence here. <laughs> hey, Gus, give me another round. He's not here. Hi, please relax and enjoy yourself. 
Okay, same thing. Already talked to him today. So, he doesn't turn up here today. That's a bit of a shame. Um. Oh. Wait, does that icon mean bundle? I think it does. Oh no, it's cell value. No, it's cell value. Wait, no it's not. Hang on, because that's cell value. If that means bundle, that's a weird icon to show a bundle for. I guess I'll compare it to other tooltips. Um, okay, hold up. No, see, that's where it shows fall foraging. Construction, okay. So these aren't in bundle. Okay. Noted. I'm hanging on to these, the rest can go. I probably should have hung on to the conch just in case it's used in crafting, but it's okay. Alright, let's spend the energy. Please don't fall to the to the right. Fall to the left. Thank you. Must spend energy. I like the little level up thing. That's quite a nice quality of life thing. I should be able to cut the other one down too. Ta-da! Okay, perfect. Alright, um, before I start the new day, I'm gonna set up music on Discord. This will still be the same, you won't be able to hear it here. But it's just so it does not just, like, silent. But I'll put, like, a... I guess... Relaxing stuff? I don't know. Uh, let me... Give me a sec, chat. That's the... And... Music is on. Alright, cool. I didn't realize that there was times where this was silent for like minutes on end. Okay, um... Yeah. We could make a field snack, so that's nice. I do miss being able to do music on stream, but I guess I could never really do it originally, it's just... <sighs> yeah. The powers that be... ...deem it that, um, yeah. It's a bad idea for streamers to play music. And share their interests with their audience. 
Yeah, Pierre's 24 backpack. Pierre's spamming my inbox. I forgot to get the... It's okay. I forgot to get the daffodil. Alright, so I have a choice. I can either... I can either go to the mines or I could further my money with fishing. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay. This is different. Unfamiliar territory. And this is a full on lake now. Oh. What? He's got a he's got a giant cauliflower. Can I have that? Or is that just decorative? Oh crap, I forgot to go into the Yeah, yeah, I'm an idiot. No backseating and starting. Well, I've got the stream tag that in general. Oh, it's getting fog misty here. What is this? How's it going, sir? Fairhaven Farm. What is this? You, my dude, you have footprints everywhere. Would you look at that? It's the new farm everyone's been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. I've been working Fairhaven Farm here for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. You're lucky you got that free property from your grandpa. You're freezing. It was negative 10 and now you're sitting at about negative 4. Can't relate. Never ever experienced that in my life. Although maybe negative four on a mountain. Maybe negative four on a mountain. Not where I am in the city. <laughs> I'm hungry. Maybe I'll get a snack soon? So does she live here by herself or no? There's someone else that lives here with her. <laughs> Can someone turn up the sun? You wanna trade? You wanna you wanna trade with Australian summer? I kinda messed up. I should have uh Put stuff away first. Ooh. Hi there, warrior. Taking a break? Oh, yes! I hope the river doesn't overflow. It's okay. I'm right here. I can put stuff away. Yeah, this is modded, so if there's stuff that's unfamiliar, yeah, because <laughs> it's modded. Um, I mean, I'm gonna put away the scythe. I doubt I'm gonna need it. I think these three should be a bare minimum. Okay. So, you know, just recording a proper playthrough of this because I don't have one. 
and playing with mods. Which I've never done before. So it's a fresh perspective. See, I autopiloted there and look at the other screen and I walked into the sign. Um, okay. Oh yeah, we need to we need to talk to him. The chub is an exciting catch, don't you think? They're such strong swimmers. Well, here's your reward. Congratulations. Alright, cool. Um, as tempting as living on the surface of the sun is, at least when it's cold, you can put more clothes on. You can only take off so much when it's hot. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You can only do so much to stay cool. There's plenty you can do to stay warm. But I will say that air conditioning here carries summer quite a bit. So, you don't really suffer too much. Right now, it's fine. Um, the summer so far hasn't been hot. In fact, right now, I'm, like, wearing pants, right? And it's just normal. Can't say it'll remain like that forever, but it's so far, it's nice. Um, okay, I'm gonna buy some, some soup from you. And then, let's just see. I'm looking at the, the spring exclusive stuff. So what's raining? You want the stuff that's in rain? Let's get that out of the way now. The catfish in the town forest, the eel in the ocean. Uh, the shad, the shad. So we want to be river town forest by the looks of it, as that'll give us chance for catfish. Wearing pants is normally considered normal, but in instead of shorts, hello, what is this? Okay. I don't mean, you know, not wearing pants and just sitting in underwear. I just mean instead of shorts. I'm going to be boring. I'm going to be boring and go fishing. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't want to go into the mines until I have the backpack upgrade at least, because then I can carry a bunch of stuff. Right now, it's so problematic. I know that sounded weird, me saying I wasn't, like I'm wearing pants, like as if, oh, that's a special occasion. I probably should have said, well, I'm not wearing shorts. That probably would have been more understandable as like, oh, wearing clothing that is, isn't for the uh, summer. You're just poking fun. Yeah, that's fine. I'm making it more funny by just making sure that people are aware that I'm I'm not naked half the time. That's all. But I guess that's the advantage of streaming without a webcam is like when it is super hot, I could stream without pants on and you wouldn't know. Yeah, I doubt I was going to get that, but it's fine. Oh, 
Hold. Hold. Come on, I got, I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, that's the catfish. You're sitting there with four layers on, really? Yeah, I've never experienced that. At most, a hoodie. And maybe one of those hoodie blanket things, but... It doesn't really get that cold here. Sweet, I got the catfish. That was the hard one to get. So the only one left is Shad. Mm, and the eel is... Okay. I might be able to get both if I'm lucky. Okay, happy to get call. I tend to be pretty antisocial in this game for the first year. <laughs> Just to get myself up and running. But I'll try my best not to do that as much. As those new people. Um, hang on. Oh, I didn't go see Jasmine today. Yeah. Wizard, Jasmine, and... Oh, yeah, right, you can talk to him now. I gotta go to the, uh, community center as well. Okay, well that, that was unlucky. That was another catfish, it wasn't the shad. Damn it. <laughs> That's interesting. It doesn't say it's part of the bundle either. Okay, with that, that's going to help quite a bit early on. Plus, it's not another inventory slot, so yay. I almost had it. It just jumped again too soon.
Okay. And... Oh, man, I've lucked out with these seeds, I'll tell you what. Hello, thank you so much for the 30 months, dude. How's it going? How's things? I guess I need that, but they can always get it later. Why can I not get the shad? Like, I got the hard one. The catfish is supposed to be the difficult one. There it is. Alright. Um, yeah. Wait. There. Okay, um, I'm gonna go and try and attempt for the eel. But I think in order to do that, I have to drop stuff off, so... Give me a sec. So glad to be back, it's been too long. No kidding, what's been up, man? How goes the restaurant business? It's locked? Oh, it's not even available yet. Okay, well, we're fine. I think by the time I get to the beach, it'll probably be too late, so I guess I can... I'm gonna hang on to these, just in case. I'll keep one of each, and then... No! Just sell these. I'll just use the rest of my energy on... on this. Ah, yeah, the pet. <laughs> uh, chat always gives me crap about the pet, because I never fill its watering bowl. How much energy do I have left? I think I got it. And I'm like, well, my reasoning is that the pet doesn't have, like, you, there's no benefit to doing it. It's not like it hates you. It still loves you. Wait, there, okay. Alright, so I can start categorizing a, a bit better. Okay, uh, that can be mining, so I'll do that. This can be green stuff. And we'll make this one, like, misc for now. Keep seeds in here. Okay. Started server training, which is awesome, more money, but the trade-off is it takes way more of your time. Yeah, that makes sense. But hey, I mean, 
More money, more comfortable living. That's good. So you done with the training or it's still got a bit to go? Um, can I do anything else? I don't think so. I'm always about doing as much as I can in one day, so. Oh, accidentally. How did I pick that up from all the way here? <laughs> anyway. Oh, you can. Uh, nothing on TV. Alright. Probably got another week or so. Got to learn how to cook at the tables. Oh. So you're going to be one of those, like, fancy chefs that do tricks at the table? Can't say I've been to a restaurant that does that here. Um, I guess drop off the scythe. Okay, I'm gonna go say hi to... ...to Jasmine before I forget. Nothing fancy, just gotta not... F up the cook on the mates. Oh, then that's fine. Okay, we got a little time. I guess I can... <laughs> I can do this. Oh, she's got a guard in here as well. I leveled up. That's all that counts. I mean, I do like the little extra details here and there. Hold on, had to just had to make sure. You know what? I'm happy happy about that. Getting coal early, big deal. Alright, come on. Let me in! What well, brought me back to Stardew? Uh, tradition. I've played Stardew every year around Christmas time for the last three years, so... Figured do it. And I'm playing modded Stardew this time around, so there's extra content to look at. It's kind of a nice way to unwind. Plus, I don't have a recording of this on YouTube, so... Hey. This will end up on there eventually. Hi, I need something. Um, unfortunately, she... This is... I need to talk to you, but... <sighs> she doesn't leave... I have to... This is... This is creepy. But I kind of have to camp her out. <laughs> I don't have my axe with me. I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, uh, I feel like I'm wasting time. I'm pretty sure she leaves the house at 10.30. It's been that long. I can't remember. I'll just... I'll suck it up and I'll wait. Because if I meet her, then I get the reward, so it's worth it. So I'll just sit here like a creep. <laughs> I'm also playing as Wario, as I've played as my own character too many times, so... 
My character is loosely around Wario. So I can do the funny voice every now and then. She's not leaving. <laughs> She's not leaving. Ah. Sorry you've been absent. Oh, it's all good, dude. I've been good. Just busy with work wrapping up the year. Um, I'm on break now, so... I don't have to go back to work until next year, which is nice. Aside from that, not a whole lot. Gotta be kidding. I mean, such is life. She snuck out. She snuck out. Where is she? Hey, where are you? Come here. Hey. Hi. <laughs> okay. Give someone a. Yeah, yeah, but like, I've I've already done that. Oh, she likes natural stuff. So if I can find, there's actually a lot of wild food in this area. If you know where to look, I've been. It having fresh salads almost every day. If I can find, like, a daffodil or a dandelion, I'm pretty sure she likes this. So this can count as a gift. No, don't eat it. Okay, good. 100 gold, yes! Oh, that's one of the new ones. Uh, hello there. Andy is ignoring you. Alright, Andy. Okay, so this is still the same. I guess maybe I should go look to the right, as that's a whole new area. Oh, there's a scene- wait, they scripted scenes with them as well? Okay. Oh, Wario? It's just you. Sorry, I, I get startled easily. Um, hey, you're kinda new to farming, so... Um, I want to give you a device as my way of welcoming you to the valley. What? Follow me to my storage chest. A device, you say? Here, it's a sprinkler. Oh, wow, okay. It'll automatically water adjacent crops every day. That's pretty broken to get early. Um, I have an order ledger in my cosplay room. If you need more, you can purchase sprinklers from me. What? Well, that's convenient. Oh, yes! Uh, sorry, hang on. <laughs> you had some Aussies at work the other day and it really had it hit home. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, we should play some games whenever you got the time. 
Um, hello. How's the sprinkler? Does it still work? Yeah, unfortunately I don't have a gift to you. I, I would want to. I'm not even sure what she likes, that's the thing. Um... Let's just go see Willy. Uh, I will tell you about my thoughts, but it's a fisherman's secret. Um, yeah, I mean, I should hang on to this stuff. You've started to get weekends off again. Hopefully it stays somewhat consistent. Ah, uh, well, you know. If you ever feel like doing anything, just shout out. Um, away from work until first week of January, so. I'll be around. This is another new cutscene. Wait, they gave it a... <laughs> you can communicate with the dog. Doggo must be pet. Doggo was pet. <laughs> yeah, uh, the mod is Stardew Valley Expanded, so it adds, a it adds a bunch of new content. So it's a fresh perspective. It's not just me playing through the game again. We're lucky to have a library in such a small town. Working a corporate job in the city was a different chapter of my life. You used to work for Georgia, isn't that right? Yes, I used to work there. Hmm, that's what I thought. Mayor Lewis told me. Office job to farmer. What an incredible career change. I work as a stock trader in my free time, maybe 15 hours a week. You must feel so much freer to not be tied up in a corporate office and be able to do the work you love. I'm happy you found your passion, sweetie. She's nice. The air's starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. I can't talk right now, young man. My favorite program is on. What is his favorite program? It'd be cool if you would right-click the TV and it would tell you what he's watching. Blah. Had two, one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away. I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. Um, so that's going to be completed tomorrow. I plan on spending a lot of my time with my telescope this summer. Running low on topaz. Ah, uh, that would be mines and the mines aren't open, so I can't accept that. I've decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw out all of last year's style to make room for the new ones. Man. What a way to live. Imagine throwing clothes out every year. The Aussies were from Melbourne, too. They were pretty serious about their meat temperatures, though. Oh, in what way? Like... Did they want them cooked? Or were they, like, connoisseurs? Um, hang on. I need to go back to... Putting these in order. Uh, 
this falls on the green, this falls on the mining, and, um, hang on. Can I make path yet? I can, okay. So we're not using too much. Oh, that's nice. It it shows the uh the radius on it. One or two of their pieces of river were slightly over and they were not afraid to let you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, cooking meat is a serious thing. I know there's the whole meme of, like, Australians and the fucking shrimp on the barbie shit, but, like, barbecued meat's pretty serious business. I was about to open the trash in front of him. The clouds look great this time of year, don't they? Like scoops of vanilla ice cream floating on blue raspberry sauce, or maybe I'm just hungry. Blue raspberry? What What the heck is blue raspberry? Is that a thing? You know what, I should go to the ocean. Get some of them ocean fish. Does anyone know blue raspberry sauce? Is that a, is that a thing? It's like when salmon berries or were in the game. Or they're still in the game, but like, the first time I came across a salmon berry, I was like, that's made up. And that other fish, the blob fish. Because I had never heard of them. And they just, it just sounded weird. Halibut. <laughs> uh, I just think of Gordon Ramsay and halibuts. Gonna prepare some beautiful halibuts. Want, I want this fish to absolutely glisten. Oh God, look at it, beautiful. Fragrant. Aromatic. Beautiful halibut. Blobfish is real, blue raspberry on the other hand, pretty sure is made up bullshit. You know what, we can- we can find that, we can look. Get- Get derailed, stream. It's possible that it's a thing because it might be a regional thing, and that might be why you haven't heard of it. So let's just see. 
Blue raspberry sauce. Apparently it's a thing. It's coming up. Blue raspberry syrup. There's a brand called Monin. It brings candied raspberry flavor and a bright blue hue to lemonade slotus slushies and cocktails. There's quite a few different blue raspberry syrups. Very common in slushies. And used in ice cream as well. well there you go. It's not... It's... It's 100% real. I wonder if that's the same as Blue Heaven. Because we have this syrup that you put in milkshakes and they call it Blue Heaven. I wonder if it's the same thing. Or blue, yeah. But I, I've never... I've had it before and I don't remember it tasting like raspberry. Myth busted. There you go. You should order some and try it because apparently that it, it goes well in mixes. Last fish and then we go home. Okay, last seaweed and then we go home. I might be able to just quickly do, like, a drive-by here. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this beverage all afternoon. <laughs> hey, you look like you could use a beverage. I hope you're farming in a sustainable way. The valley's ecosystem is fragile. How do I know? I have a strong gut feeling. From what you're seeing, though, most things are blue raspberry. Don't usually have to do with raspberry. Oh no, it's like 100% artificial. I've been reading up on different strategies for optimizing the arrangement of department stores. JoJo is pretty firm about these things being consistent between locations, but I wonder if I have room to maneuver and try new things out. Wait. So does he does he live here in town? I guess he must. Anyway. He's still up, Laura. That's surprising. I thought you'd be asleep by now. Uh okay. Put away the halibut. As long as we have at least one. Um herring. One of these. Alright, do this. These get sold. As long as I have stuff for potential bundle. It's okay. Oh, I have energy left over. Um, okay, quickly, quickly. We waste no energy. Okay, now it's bedtime. I got bait. I mean, it's adorable that he wakes you up like that, but it must be also annoying. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to sleep. There's going to be rain tomorrow. Traveling merchant. Yeah, let's go. Alright, chat. Give my cat a name. Hello, warrior. You see this cat here? I found it sitting outside the entrance of your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. Also, think about what kind of cat warrior would have. I found it sitting outside the entrance of your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. Alright, I already read that. 
I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Will you adopt this cat? No! Beans? Alright, fine. Okay, his name is Bean. Beans. Well, little Beans, you'll be a good kitty now, okay? Okay. My name is Susan. Lewis told me you're a new farmer in town. I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. What? Hopefully the mess Jojo made will be cleared out soon because I'm going to... Going a little stir crazy. Can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up. Okay. That's interesting. Hi, me sell hats, okay? Pocket, uh... Come to old, old house, poke, and bring coins, hat mouse. To our valued Dredge Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by a drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that the drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant to an it's L61091 Jojo Co. Amendment, responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Signed, Morris. Okay. Still don't have a... Okay, but look, this is the way we're gonna do it. I've been collecting mixed seeds. Oh, this is a fair point. I don't have anything. Oh, I don't have anything to plant the rice near. Crap. Okay, maybe it won't be easy. Alright, look, just plant rice for now. I hope this... This, uh, this doesn't... This doesn't get eaten. Okay, let's see. Uh, see, it doesn't say if it's part of a bundle, so I'm gonna... I know this is weird, but hang on to it. Just for a little bit longer. Some of this stuff does, but then a lot of it doesn't, and that's kind of surprising, but... Cool. Oh, see, I can see what it is already. Potato, cauliflower, parsnip, parsnip, parsnip. All right. Okay, I'll go see Traveling Merchant. Uh, alright, I'll stick with this for now. The rock's out of the way so I could go mines. Okay, new scene. Ah, it's a new farmer. How you doing on this fine sunny day? 
You caught me in the middle of attending to my crops. I'm spreading some new Georgia fertilizer on my crop field. I always use Georgia fertilizer. It makes my crops stronger and healthier. Say, you're just starting out on Warrior's Farm. I have something for you to help you out. I have some strawberry seeds for your Fairhaven farm. Strawberries have a good reputation in Grampleton and Chestervale. Hey, Catherine, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? How's your stream? I'll be sending them your way once I have the time. These are... Wait, these here crops got me occupied. There we go. Got it. You have yourself a nice day, Wario. Go get some dirt on ya. Okay! <laughs> you had a ten and a half hour stream, so you're dead. Need food and sleep, but wanted to say hi. Well, I appreciate you stopping by to say hi. But understandable. That would make me tired and hungry too. Ah, uh, let me think what I I'm in here because time stops and I can think. Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess I was just stopping here to say hi, but oh no, traveling merchant, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> it is past midnight here, so brain is a little dead, but it's okay. Um, yeah, here's the problem. I don't know what my button- wait, what? Was that always a picture, or is this the mod changing it? Yeah, there's- there's, mm, there's nothing here. It doesn't say that this is part of a bundle, but this would save time. Okay, look. I'll- I'll leave it for now. I need more daffodils to give out. I'm still not used to this map yet. <laughs> it's so different. Yeah, Seth is going through, uh, cold weather, so... I was just saying here, it's not really hot at all. It's, it just feels like... almost winter. Australian winter, I should say, but... It's just been rainy and miserable the last two days, so I've just... been at home, just chilling. Which is cool. It's like the first couple of days of my break. Today was 24 for you, Laura. Uh, no, it wasn't the case here. You've been complaining about the snow in Washington. <laughs> what? How's the snow in Washington? I'm setting you up for a joke here. I'll try and run into as many people as I can. Uh, sure. <laughs> I 
It's called your island ass is still adjusting. Yeah. I guess that's one thing we share is just like... Oh, I should read this. Every time I do push-ups, I try to do more than last time. Pretty cool strategy, huh? Okay. Um, hey, Granny! Like, coming from a climate where, uh, yeah, snow's never a thing. George spends the whole day in front of the, that darn television set. I wish he'd go outside more. Some fresh air would do him some good. So wait, can we just walk up to the doggo now and pet him? Oh, you can. You give Dusty many pets. <laughs> this is such a small thing, but why was this not in the original? It's kind of a rule of thumb with games now, is if there's an animal that can be pet, it should be pet. See our farmer, huh? At least it's honest work. Next hour of stream petting Dusty. If Dusty did a little animation when you pet him, I would absolutely do that for the next hour. Like, think about if you've seen Ghost of Tsushima, the petting animation for the fox, if it was anything like that, I tell ya, that's like game of the year material right there. This stuff can definitely be incorporated into a healthy diet. Wow, I just realized it's Friday. Sometimes I totally lose track of time. That's a very easy thing to do in this game too. Business has been slow since Jojo moved into town. It's hard to compete with their selection. You gonna head off, Laura? Alright, good night. Try sleep. Hopefully you won't get woken up again. I'm hoping you don't have to work tomorrow, but I'm guessing you do. Hey, sorry if I seem a little cranky. I'm just a little sore from work yesterday. Okay. Hello, Edgelord. Uh, I don't really know you. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. Don't tell her I said that. Hey, your husband thinks you're a bitch. Okay, bye. <laughs> just, I'm sorry. I would ruin Demetrius' day just because of how he behaves. Thinking he's better than everyone else. There you go. Please don't destroy my tent. I'm not going to. It happened before. Wait, what? Where are the mines? Uh, what? Okay, this is good. I need I need more of these, but hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna buy... Come back when you've got something to show me, kid. Okay.
Whoa. Oh, there's, there's a boat here. Okay, here are the mines. There we go. Hmm. I was just wondering how far down this mine shaft goes. I'm going to take care of some of the monsters in here before they start climbing out into the valley. I've met a lot of adventurers in my time. I recognize that look in your eye. Old age hasn't robbed me of my eyesight or my skill with a sword yet. Take this weapon. It may not look like much, but it's imbued with magic. With it, you'll be able to battle the monsters here. <laughs> Rusty sword, imbued with rust magic. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. It's kind of fun to see these, uh these lines because it's been i'd say five six years since i saw them so i don't remember them so i guess it's it's fresh all right but let's just see what we can do here probably not a lot but i wanna i wanna get some ore going you know what mods did i add so uh, the big one is Stardew Valley Expanded that adds all that content. That's the one that's doing a lot of the custom stuff, but then there's uh, a lot of visual mods that... Kat gave me a hand with it. She recommended a bunch of them. So I kind of went with her recommendations. If you want a definitive list, I can get you on. I can bring up the main menu. Okay. Well, the main menu will show it. Uh... I mean, I guess I can- I can use this to kind of further myself. I suppose this is the problem with going into the mines right now. In inventory space. But yeah, some of the quality of life ones are, for example, this little mini HUD here. That shows, uh... Events that are going on in the day. Uh, I could probably... Hang on. Just to save myself some effort. And yeah, a lot of the other ones are just texture and, uh, building mods. Am I- am I really going to break every single rock to reveal the ladder? <laughs> there we go. Dude. Sometimes I have just horrendous luck when it comes to these mines. For now, I'll just stick to ore. I, I don't really care about the geodes. That can be something that happens later. I think getting stone... ...is the more important thing with coal. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. I'm like one floor away. There we go! <laughs> All right, I'm content. It doesn't it doesn't have to go any further. 
All right, let's get out of here. Because I, I think it does take longer. Wait, you ran into the Nordstrom girl again? Get out. No kidding. Well, go on. That's surprising. How did, how did you manage that? I need to clear the path up north from where I am. Damn it. Okay, good. It was a different quality, but I can maybe come back for it. It's probably a good idea to come back for it. What on earth? Where am I? Where the heck am I? Wait, what? I'm so lost right now. Where am I? Oh, no, no, I see, I see, I see, I see where I am. I see where I am. <laughs> I got it, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. You took a shot and she turned you down. Ah, oh, that's a shame. But you know what? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, and you did more than most people would in that situation. Okay, I need to give that to Gunther. I'm going back. It might be risky, but there's foraging to be done. Oh, what the... Oh, this map is confusing. Seeing her again felt like fate, so you had to try. Yeah, that's fair. but pretty unexpected. I just need more of you. I might regret this. I might regret this. I might regret this. As long as I'm in bed in the next 30 seconds, it's okay. All right, we're fine, we're fine. Plenty of time. <laughs> you cooked their meat perfectly too, aww. There you go, I can pet the cat now. Feeling a little lucky today. All right, cool. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Okay. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Okay, I'm going to try and catch an eel today. There's the deluxe fishing pole. 
Have three bags of strawberry seeds. These ought to help you during your first season in the valley. Farmers gotta stick together, Andy. That's awfully nice. Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might have me consider building well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and can serve as convenient places to refill your warning can. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Alright, we're done. Uh, do I have the scarecrow yet? Mm, I do, cool. Then we can plant more stuff with no risk. Uh, what is it? It's fiber, coal, and wood. Okay. Apparently, I need more wood. <laughs> Wait, what? What is this here? Alright, I'll look at it in a minute. Um, oh, crap. I need room. Drop that for a minute. So, yeah, this is cool. Now I can see the radius of it. I guess it makes sense to put it here. Hang on. Maybe a little bit lower. Like, yeah. That's, yeah, I like this. This is cool. And then do that. There we go. Now this is protected. So now I got everything south of here to work with. Was that all the seeds I had? Yes, okay. Put the fiber away, take this as a gift. Put the axe away. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna go cave, so I'll put the sword away for now. Alright. I'm trying to make a relationship with the, uh, the new girl. Just to keep it different. Wait, can I take these? No. <laughs> okay. It's, it's aesthetic, it's fine. Hi, warrior, you look like you're soaked, you poor thing. I mean, I am playing as warrior, my first instinct is, Oh, can I take this? This for warrior? Okay, I take. Okay. Have flour. You're sweet, thanks. Um, hello. That's it. Wine cellar. Is it just her in here? Settlers of Ferngill. Set up for three players. The game pieces are dusty. Aww. 
That's, uh, if that's set, like, settle as a Catan, that's a great game. Speaking of Wario, Wario and Pokemon clips still seem to be reigning supreme for the shorts, huh? Uh, I mean, a few others have gotten some semblance of attract attraction, like ones that are just general conversation. The Terraria one did okay. I guess it's it's bits where I'm like being an idiot making noises. Which doesn't surprise me. I need an anchovy to rub on my sore nose. Can you please bring me one? What do you mean anchovy on your nose? I can do that for you. I think the streams have been doing pretty well in terms of not live viewership, but like post viewership, if that makes sense. Because the equivalent of uploading them to the VODs channel, they don't really get as much as the ones that I broadcast live and then go in the live tab. So the live viewership is, is a bit, it's on par and it's sometimes less. But I've been trying to make it like it's a regular thing on the Saturday and Sunday slots. Have I been doing YouTube streams here and there? Yeah, I mean, I've been playing uh, a... I guess it's a mod, but it's it's kind of like a remake of Zelda 2 on there. And also been doing a little bit of Terraria as well. But other than that, not much else. Like, I didn't want to spread myself too thin. In terms of subscribers, I mean, it already overtook the channels that I had before. And then the one for highlights kind of just grew quite a bit because of... The video where I was showing off my Terraria build just, I guess, went semi-viral, so... That helped a little, but yeah, it hasn't really translated to much. Like, I'd, I'd have to make more videos, I think. He said sardine, right? Anchovy. Okay, not yet. I think with the thing where I'm doing Terraria streams on Sunday, hopefully that'll be something that becomes consistent and people recognize that that's when I do stuff on there. D wait, dull seaweed? Well, I mean, even though you've been gone, you've still been brainstorming that shit constantly. That's fair. And, you know, whenever you want to try something, just go for it. And if you need anything from me, let me know. Like, one piece of content that I sort of semi-filmed, I guess, was when I was playing Terraria, I, I kind of did a little how-to. 
I was like, okay, typically people just make a box when they start a new world in Terraria. I'm going to show you what you can make with just, like, the basic stuff you can find at the start. And make it look semi-decent. So, I just gotta cut that segment out and make it its own video. I'll probably do it in the next couple of days. What is dull seaweed? Is that a real thing? You've made edits, but you're a little nervous to run them by me. Why? Don't be. <laughs> Can't possibly show me in a bad light because at the end of the day, it's just me. <laughs> it's, unless you go extreme out of content and uh, out of context and stitch individual words together to form like some heinous shit, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, I got the sardine. You just want to do right. I appreciate that. I'm kind of the same. I don't like showing stuff until I personally feel like it's done. Oh, it's annoying to clean a mess. You didn't know that by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go see the rich family. What is this house? Oh, he's he's in here. Damn it! <laughs> I'm here to deliver that anchovy. Oh. Was it an anchovy? Yeah, he wants to put an anchovy on his nose for whatever reason. Now that has to be made up, there's no way that's like a, a remedy. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking the next few days pretty easy, but then I want to try and make a couple of ideas that I've been thinking about. One of them, I'm not sure. It might be dumb, but I'm going to try it. Despite your chaotic nature, you're simultaneous or perfectionist when it comes to projects like that. I hear you, I hear you. Okay, got the eel. So that's all the uh, fish that appears when it's raining, with the exception of the legend. Which there's no way I can there's no way I can get a fishing um, level high enough before the end of the season. I don't think anyway. I'll stay here. I may as well. Yeah, I mean, it also comes to making or doing things as well as if I feel like I don't have a, a solid enough plan or like I don't have a scenario where I can put the effort that I want into it, I generally don't do it. So I can I can appreciate when uh, you you want to be a perfectionist on something. Especially, yeah, I mean, in the line of work that I've had over the years, um, like, since graduating, uh, yeah. I've always had this thing about showing stuff incomplete, because sometimes it becomes such a hard diff conversation because people can't visualize what's in your head. And then sometimes get the wrong idea. Oh, 
or like say you want to show something for the sake of showing progress some people don't understand concepts like placeholders or you know you just did something quickly just so they can get a rough idea and then they ask questions like oh why did you do that for i'm like it, it's a placeholder shit um shit <laughs> shit okay I guess I have to ditch the seaweed. You think that's been your problem with art slash projects in general, the whole your your worst critic kind of thing? You've had a hard time making something that meets your own standards. Oh no, yeah, I, I get that, man. Like my favorite kind of work is the work that I haven't shown anyone, more or less. <laughs> and then, when I do release something, there's very few things where I'm just happy with it after it's out. I know that that sounds a bit tragic, but it's just generally how it is for me. I'm not saying everything I put out I don't enjoy, it's just... I feel like I... Uh, there's always something I feel like I could have done better. And there have been times where that I've, I haven't felt that, and it's been a good feeling, but I don't know. I've been trying my hardest not to do that as much. I've been learning slowly to do that. But man, yeah, in my 20s, it was just a lot of that. Um, I'm not sure which is worth more. I need the sardine. That was the only... Uh, let's just go home. <laughs> I'm wasting my time here. I'm, I don't have inventory space. Oh, everyone's here. It's good. You know, I should talk about that. I need a little warm-me-up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. Can I do anything for you? Why are you bothering me? I want to be alone. You feel me on that? Like with songs, you have a bad habit of hyper-analyzing things. You write until you hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Andy sees you but chooses not to say anything. I love to decorate for the different seasons. Okay. Good evening, can I get you anything? I like making my own clothes, but it's not easy to get cloth. And it's such a long trip to the city. I feel like when Gus says this... Do you think he's saying this like as a rhetorical question? Like he's not genuinely asking me if... If he can be of service to me, like he's doing it sarcastically sarcastically oh hey what are you doing behind the counter can i get you anything you, you good you're gonna keep trespassing huh employees only back here but okay Oh, come on. Totally what you would do if some poor person just walked up behind the bar. Yeah, I mean, you would get kicked out of the place. You wouldn't be able to do what I just did there. Okay, so let's see. We need the sardine. We're going to give him the cheap one. We need another one, just in case it's bundle. We have a, we have a herring. Uh, we don't have an anchovy. Everything else can be so Oh, the eel put it away. Everything else can be sold. I 
Okay. I do have a little bit of energy left, so... We chop three. So I need to see Victor tomorrow. Um, I guess I'll go camp out his house once I'm done watering. If it makes you feel any better, dude, I have like a bunch of VODs and videos that I've never uploaded. Kind of just sitting there because I, I wasn't happy with them. <laughs> I'm not going to say for what. Is sleeping. Okay, I mean, fishing skill is going pretty well. Lewis's birthday. Uh, Lewis likes peppers. I don't have peppers. Traveling merchant. There'll be rain tomorrow. Stir fry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll read it. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish? Stir fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Ah, oh, that's good. I mean, that does sound good if you want to make it. Dear Farmer Warrior, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I can offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, hope you're starting to feel home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. That's it. I'm trying to think what else I can give Lewis. Just looking at the wiki for a sec. Lewis. <laughs> that makes you feel slightly better. Ah! Glad to help. Right, so Autumn's Bounty can't make glazed yam, can't make green tea, can't make hot pepper, can't make... Um, he's neutral to... Daffodil and dandelion, so I guess we'll give him a dandelion. But since we don't have... I probably should have grown peppers. I, I think I need to go to Pierre's. Um, okay. Let's put this in. What else can we give to the museum? Put that in. Okay, uh, George, the mayor, and that's it for now. Traveling Merchant Sunday, let's see. Daffodil, Red Snapper. Coconut, Basic Fertilizer, Bug Me, Rare Seed. Nah, we're good. There's nothing of value.
just haven't had any luck with forage. I guess that's the other thing is these new areas are taking up quite a bit of the forest, so there's like less here. Unfortunately for these new characters, I can't really look up what they like. Um, track on- wait, you can track on- hold on. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. So I can see where they are. Well, isn't that a useful mod? See, that just makes the map more useful. Unfortunately, you can't zoom in. So where is... Right, so they're currently in Marnie's house. Wait. Sophia... It's unknown where Victor, Sophia, and Marlon are. <laughs> what the? They're in the desert, apparently. If I'm reading that correctly. Oh, crap, I forgot Victor's... Yep, yep, yep. Got Victor's weird ass request. Er is going to put anchovy on his nose. Ugh. Oh no! Spring onions spread out of the ground in the dirt outside my spring during farm farm during spring. Jeez, I can't read. It's past one a.m. If I can grab several of them, I can make them a good meal. in, put the others away, and where is this fish? There is, you want a anchovy, just double check, anchovy, to rub on his nose, I don't want to look that up, like if that's a real remedy, something from the 50s, Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a Jojo Co membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What? Nyahaha! <laughs> What's the matter? Are you ill? Why 
way ahead of me as far as you've seen this turtle stardew nonsense well okay what about fish oil though because that is a thing where they use fish oil to make um capsules that you take it could be not necessarily putting a literal sardine on you but it could be oil made out of a sardine you saw something hmm i wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats yeah <laughs> Korok. Yaha. <laughs> You're worrying me, Wario. Eh. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Okay. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Oh, yes! Wario loves rats! Okay, uh, we need to go... Okay, that's all we needed to see. Fish oil is supposedly good for many things, but sore nose is not one of them. Okay. Well, I mean... It might not be a thing that was in the original, because this is- this did come from one of the characters from the mod. So maybe it's something new? I don't know. Hey, rich boy, are you here? I have your sardine! You don't take days off, do you? I certainly don't want to distract you from your work. You go on ahead with your errands, Wario. Where is he? You know what? Can I can I see him on the map? Victor is at okay. I see where he is now. Ugh, this is so useful. <laughs> I mean, look, people just look it up on the- Hey, 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 I have a flower for you. Come here. You're sweet, thanks. Oh, hello there. Um, can I help you? Okay. Oh, you saw the ad I had posted? I really appreciate it. Let's see, here's what I owe you. Now get away from me, I need to put this fish on my nose. Uh, hi. Nice day today, isn't it? <laughs> okay. <sighs> I've got those behind the counter blues. Um, how much is backpack? I'll take it! There we go, storage problem solved. Oh, they added him to this whole thing. I didn't always used to believe in Yoba. I came to my senses, and I was in dire need of help. Yoba saved me. At least I could do is show some respect. I've never been religious, but hey, I'm old. Um, I also have a present for you. This is my favorite thing, thank you. I'm taking a break from house chores today. If I don't spend any time outside, I'll go crazy. Plus, I don't want my legs to turn soft. Okay, now we go deliver these two things, and... I guess the important thing here is that I don't have storage issues now. We go pet Doggo. I, w I hope that they've made a purpose to it. Hey. What, you want to talk to me? I'm busy. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the sea makes me... makes going to sleep a lot easier. I'm still questioning if I should make friends with the Jojo dude. Oh, Lewis's birthday. Where is Lewis? Um... B -b 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 he is... 
apparently there. Did I not see him? Oh no, he's just outside. Happy birthday! Oh, birthday girl, thank you. I've been mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. No one ever runs against me when it's time for an election. I think it means I'm doing my job well. I like being mayor. Wait, the purpose of petting Doggo is to pet Doggo. No, I meant like, is he gonna get a cutscene or something? Cause he's got... He's got one of these frames around him, you know? Like he's a character. So it would stand to reason that maybe they've done something with him. That's what I meant. Like something more... If he gets more of a show than the than your own pet. Oh man, I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling a all nighter. I'm just thinking, like, is he gonna get a little cutscene, you know? Hello, um... The weather's interesting today, don't you think? Sorry. If you hear any banging from inside my heart, it's probably me working on one of my sculptures. Okay. Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Okay, didn't give me anything. Abigail, best Stardew girl, because she plays games. I mean, I guess for me it'd be any one of the nerdy ones. Ones that have like a somewhat nerdy hobby, whether that's gaming, art, or reading. So tired. Oh yeah, this is Claire. Can't keep my eyes open. Oh, apologies. Welcome to Jojamont. How may I help you? Please don't tell my manager I was dozing off on my shift. Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. Uh, hello. Do you need something? Just wanted to talk, that's all. I know a lot of people dislike Abigail just because... Wait, what? Pelican Town, 14th of the 17th... Okay, stupid American dates. <laughs> Built in recognition of Stardew Valley's elegance. You might ask yourself, why do I say that? Listen. For everywhere else, you start with the smallest unit, which is day. That's the thing that changes the most. Then this changes the second most, and then this changes the least. Least to most. So, when you, che when you change a date, it's only the first box, typically. And then once a month, you change the second box. It also reads from smallest to largest, day, month, year. There's logic behind it. <laughs> She's also a drummer. She is, yeah, and likes to explore caves. So if you're into cave exploration, that's another bonus, I guess. All right, what is this area? I just, I want to be aware of what this is. It's 
it's just a massive field. Yeah, I'm glad I left this to... What is going on? Is this looping? <laughs> Whoa, okay, that, that took a while. Okay, can't go there. <laughs> that was an eternity. What? I mean, I guess you can come here to cut down trees. Sure, it's a big area. Doesn't appear to be a whole lot else. There's a... Oh, this is where the train station is. Out of service until next season. Okay. This area is massive, but there's not a whole lot here. Not even foraging. By appointment only, Atlantis W. A second wizard? Or perhaps just the same wizard, but the secondary tower. Oh, there's even more. Okay, no, the, you can't go, That's deceiving. What's the point of this area? <laughs> it doesn't even have foraging things I can pick up. It's just this massive field that doesn't really have a whole lot. This was a waste of time, but I guess I know now. Just more wood. Yeah, I, I guess. You know what it is? Because on the left, there's a bunch of stuff there now, so I guess there's less to cut down. But this just... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it almost feels like I'm playing a beta. And this is just, uh, oh yeah, it's coming in the future. This is unused beta content. Um, I guess the way I'll spend the rest of my energy, I'll just go cut down some trees home. That's disappointing. I was expecting more. Maybe there is more. I mean, there was a train station there and a second tower, but I mean, that's such a large space to dedicate just for that. I also noticed this. What is this? Oh, that's... Yeah, I know what that is. That's for later. That's for when Pierre... Tries to buy your produce and then sell it for five times the cost. Scumbag Pierre. <laughs> Ultra capitalism Pierre. Calls it the free market, you know. I think at th oh, that's nice. A waterfall. I think at the very least I should clear a path to here. Ah! <laughs> Can't see what's in the way.
At least I can start carrying the tools now, so I don't need to put this away. I'll still put the watering can away, but then I can carry the sword with me now. The main thing is dealing with the fact that I have inventory space. Hang on. <laughs> Let's just make sure that it doesn't go in the lake. Admittedly, the formation around the lake does look nice, but... I can always change it. Oh, there was a pathway here. Okay, the last tree. There we go. It's not a total waste if I use my energy by the end of the day. Okay. And time. <laughs> All right, this is going to be my final day. If I do another day, it's going to be two in the morning when I finish and I can't have that happen. So good session. Let's just make sure it saves. Oh, hello, cookie. So I'm just wrapping up, sorry. But it is late for me, and I've been playing this for a few hours already. But, good start to it. I do like the new stuff they've added, um, in this mod. And then, these quality of life things. Like, I know, th this kind of constitutes cheating, but at the same time, there's a wiki you can look us up on where certain villages are at what time, so it's, I don't know, I think it's fine. I'm curious as to where this is going to go, because there's... There seems to be multiple new areas that they've added. So, we'll see more of it. Uh, I'll probably do this again tomorrow. As, yeah, it is tradition here, during December, to do chill stuff, and every year I've done Stardew, so we'll, we'll do more of it.